Hello, 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 influencers. Hello. So we are back for another Wisdom Winning Wednesday message all the way from Turk Valley. Woo, 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 woo. And tonight, 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 we have with us our special guest, the amazing, the beautiful Miss Rose Fish. Listen, guys, when I tell you Rose is amazing, hmm, you're in for a treat tonight, and she's blushing. But she's like, this is my sister, y'all. I got to tell you. So tonight, as you hear in the background, before we came on, our topic tonight is don't forget your work bag. And the song that's playing in the background is Ty Tribbett's Work It Out. Why? Because one thing we realize is that regardless as to what, we have faith, we have hope in God that regardless as to what we're dealing with, he's going to work it out. So I am going to give Rose an opportunity to introduce herself now. <laughs> so, um, Rose, you, I just want you to introduce yourself, let them know who you are, and um, just share a word of inspiration. We're going to get into our topic shortly, but share something. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Hi, I'm Rose. I've known Shay now, what, a couple of years, about two years going yes. on, hopefully. Uh, Seems like longer than that. Yes, we're twins. If you didn't notice, we have the same mm -hmm. father. Can you see the resemblance? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit of a cornball of a jokester, but I have the joy of the Lord in my heart and I love to let it out. Little uh, little known fact about me, my middle name means shining light. I recently found that out. And I wow. think that's cool. It's like God shining his light through me. Yes. So Rose, thank you, thank you, thank you. So we are in uh, Turf Valley for our Workforce Development Conference. And I just appreciate Rose being willing to come live with me tonight like this is major um hello Gwen if you if this is your first time tuning in please drop us a comment say hello let us know where you're tuning in from and if you will do us a favor share this live out let someone know that we are live and we are simply here to inspire the influencer in you so really quick wow is an acronym that stands for wisdom optimizes winning for those that do not know WOW, again, is an acronym for Wisdom Optimizes Winning. And what we do here on the WOW Inspire broadcast, we just give you words of inspiration to encourage you to keep on keeping on. You are experiencing life just like we are. However, God has given us some wisdom. We have gained wisdom through our experiences, through different tests and trials that we have went through. Mm. So we just want to share that with you tonight. So let's get right into our topic. If you're ready, I am too. Um, so tonight's topic is... Don't forget your work bag. Now, Rose, let me just be honest. Let me tell you how I got this topic. Yes. Right? So last Saturday, you all know, like I am big on consistency. So I was like, okay, well, I got to go get my car service. But we have a live at 10 o'clock. So I'm leaving Cambridge to go to Easton to get my car service. So I grab my tripod. I'm like, okay, yes, in case I'm out and about, we still have to go live. We still have to do our broadcast. So in the process of me being in the car on my way to get my car service, I looked to in my passenger seat. And because I was going into the same city in which I work, it was like, wow, you forgot your work bag. Mm -hmm. However, I'm like, I don't, it's Saturday. I'm, I don't have to work through that. <laughs> so spiritually, I got this whole nother revelation about this work bag. And oftentimes, hello, Sister Sherry, hello. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, um, the revelation I got was oftentimes, well, many people would say, oh, well, I got to prepare my bag for work, right? We go to our nine to fives. I got to put this in my bag. I need these reports. I mean, you know, you facilitate mm -hmm. workshops. <laughs> So, you know, if you have a workshop, there are certain things that you put into your bag to prepare, prepare for the workshop. Mm -hmm. But in the spirit, I got a, another um, perspective. I received another revelation. And that revelation was, don't forget your work bag. Well, okay, well, I don't have to go to the nine to five. But the one thing I do know, and I mean, you can attest, ministry is 365, 24-7. <laughs> so it's like, Rose, what do you put in your work bag? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> when you are when you are doing the kingdom of God, like, what do you, how do you prepare your work bag? When you go to work every day, how do you prepare your work bag for work? 
And then we, I want you to give us some uh, spiritual insight when you're preparing your work bag, what that looks like. Okay. I will say um, to every day, I try just about every day to pray the armor of God over myself, Ephesians, oh goodness, what is it, six? Mm -hmm. um, I have it bookmarked in my Bible app, and every day I, I read it over myself verbally, you know, out loud, and I pray the arm, you know, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, yes, come on. all of it, yes, come and I mean, I picture it on, and then I feel like a soldier in the army of God, like no weapon formed. Mm. <laughs> Come on. And, and then the shield of faith, or, or uh, yes. which can extinguish all the flaming arrow, arrows of the evil one. I mean, I vision all of it. So I try to start my day that way, just blessed, you know, covered in the blood of Jesus. Mm. And then again, when I go out to the road, I, I again, I'm asking God, please bless my commute. It just It's like baby steps all throughout the day, just kind of doing a pulse check, checking in with God and asking him to watch over me, watch over my family. And for me to uh, do his work, to work through me and say whatever it is that he wants me to say to right. who I need to say it to at the time when I need to say it. Amen. Mm -hmm. So you heard it. Mm -hmm. And I like that you said this is like baby steps. A lot of times, you know, I share on some live ago, um, I, we had did the topic when luggage turns to baggage. And mm -hmm. a lot of times when we get excited about doing the work of God, we don't check in with him as often as we should. And it's important that we are checking in with him, not daily, but periodically through the day. Mm -hmm. So today, tonight's scripture, I mean, literally, mm -hmm. Rose. <laughs> Did I just get it tonight? <laughs> Literally like what, 15 minutes ago? <laughs> when I tell you God is just amazing, he's amazing. So tonight's scripture, um, when I when I was thinking about this and you know, the topic, don't forget your work bag and just having the image of um and the understanding that this work is 365, 24 seven is not something that, you know, we break from. I mean, at any given moment, we could, God could say, listen, I just need you to stop. I need you to pray. Yeah. When you are spirit filled, when you are led by the spirit, you have to move according to the will of God and you have to be prepared. So I was like, wow, the scriptures just hit my spirit. You know, work while it's day for when night come, no man can work. So I was like, let me, let me look at the scripture. So me and Rose are just sitting here and I'm like, Rose, like, hold on, let me go back, right? And this is just amazing because when we were reading this and we were discussing it before we came on live, Rose was like, I'm taking notes, like, okay. And I'm like, I mean, seriously. So when we went back in the scriptures, we're in John in the ninth chapter. And the thing I love about the scripture is God, when he reveals and he gives us that revelation to relate to everyday life, it's just amazing. Mm. So here in the scripture, we have someone that was born. He was born blind, right? And the disciples asked Jesus, he said to him, so God, who sinned? God, tell me, did this boy sin? Did his parents sin that he may be born blind? And God looked to his disciples and said, no, he didn't sin. His parents didn't sin. But what I want to do with him, I want to create and I want to perform a miracle to give him his sight back yes. so that men and women will see the goodness, the good work, like they would be able to see God's hand at work. So I'm like, whoa, <laughs> Rose, what were you thinking? Like, whoo. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was just like, because we do tend to think that like, oh, what did I do, Lord? What did I do to offend you? Why am I going through this trial? You know, did I do something? I'm sorry. And it's not always that. It's that God uses us. He doesn't need us, but when we're open to his will and he can use us, he does. And it's not always the most comfortable thing or the thing that we want <laughs> or would Absolutely. choose for ourselves, but it's what he, it's his will. It's so. his will. So, I mean, can you imagine like being blind, being for blind life for, no, like, for, for, for the sake of him, like no fault of my own. My parents didn't sin. 
I didn't do anything to deserve. And a lot of times I loved what you said, Rose. A lot of times when bad things start to happen in our lives, we automatically assume, mm -hmm. God, you're punishing me. What did I do? Please help me to identify. Let me mm -hmm. to see me in the mirror so that I can correct whatever it is that's causing me to be in this. And I'll tell you, um, last Saturday, we spoke to the topic, um, trusted tests. God trusts you enough to test you. He trusts this servant enough to to allow him to be born without his sight. Yes, yes. I mean, <laughs> literally, like seriously. Can you imagine? Like, I mean, I'm claustrophobic. Put me in a room, and the, I feel like the walls are caving in on me. But this man was born blind and it was no fault of his own so rose could you just give our viewers some inspiration for the people that struggle in that area to say you know what um i'm going through a tough time and i feel like it's because of something that i've done so just from this scripture and then some of your own personal mm. experience can you just share like some <laughs> Lord, of I your testimony <laughs> to just inspire them like it's not always them oh lord okay yes so <laughs> i've done my fair share of uh, struggles haven't we all um whew, let me get my thoughts together because it shot through me so fast that it went out i gotta catch it <laughs> <laughs> it's not always something we do or didn't do it's not always the enemy working against us um in some of my toughest toughest trials i try to remember that jesus did nothing wrong Ooh. and lord talk about a bop, dropping a bomb jesus did no wrongs mm. and yet he took on all of our sins so for me to be treated in a way that uh, or struggling in a way or to me, it's an honor to be treated like my savior because Jesus was treated that way. So mm. have at it. Well, listen, you Lord. are <laughs> very few. Like many people, I mean, listen, many people cannot stand the test of time, mm. let alone to be feeling the crucifixion that Jesus felt. I don't know, sister, you tough. <laughs> you are tough. Lord, I love you, but I don't know if I could take that type of crucifixion. Like, seriously. However, all of this in a nutshell is just understanding that even in this situation in the Bible, this 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 young soul, this servant did not do anything to deserve. He did not do anything that would have caused him to be deserving of being born without his sight. His parents did nothing. However, God says, I trust that when this child comes forth, that he is going to be strong enough to be able to go through life for the season in which, notice I said season, notice I said a moment, it's not a lifetime. He's going to be able to go through the test without giving in, without losing his mind. So a lot of times we have to understand as people, it's important to not forget our work bag because in that work bag, it's going to be things, spiritual work bag is going to be things that we need in order to help us to get through our days, mm. let alone the weeks and the months. We need to get through the day. Mm. 24 hours is a long time <laughs> to be tested. I mean, wake up tested, mm. born blind. How many of us have lost our sight and we can still see? Mm. something to think about so i say to you tonight we say tonight mm. make sure that you don't forget to pack your work bag don't forget your work bag mm. know that every single day that you walk out of your house when you leave your loved ones when, when even when you're with your loved ones know that you're always at work and know that this work is not to be taken lightly, but you're supposed to be that light. You're supposed to be um, that, 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 what you say, shining? 
Shining light. <laughs> that shining light. <laughs> you have to be that shining light. You have to understand that you're going to experience some things that you did not ask for, that you did not absolutely nothing to deserve. It has absolutely nothing to do with you, but has everything to do with God getting the glory. Mm. Mm. And I'll tell you, in that moment of, you know, thinking to myself, Lord, Jesus was <laughs> treated like this. Let me, let me suck it up. There's a new appreciation I find in, in the struggle or the trial. And then it's not so bad. It's like, okay, all right, Lord, <laughs> you did that for me. So let's put it into perspective. This really isn't that bad. And I pray for his joy. I ask him to, you know, Lord, please fill me with your joy because I don't feel, this doesn't feel good. You know, I don't like this. Please fill me with your joy. And it is absolutely possible to feel the joy of the Lord in your heart while you are going through trials. The, oh gosh, I'm trying to think of the saying. I used to see it every day when I would pass, when I was working um, my old job when I was recruiting. And it was something about um, the joy of the Lord not being dependent or um, he is being strength? a struggle. The joy of the Lord is my strength? No, it was I'm going to have to get find it and then post, post it in it. the link because yes. I can't think of it, but it's great. When y'all see it, it's great. <laughs> so, I mean, just taking from this conversation tonight, sounds to me like you're packing some joy mm. in your work bag. Mm -hmm. You're packing some patience in your work bag. Oh, yes. <laughs> you're packing some prayer in your work bag. Oh, yes. Um, Anything else? Some faith? The armor of the, the Lord, armor. yes, the blood of Jesus, all of it. You, we, I mean, <laughs> seriously, I mean, we we're laughing. However, this is for real. Like, oh yeah, this work bag. I mean, and a lot of times, you know, Erica Badu sing sings a song like, um, and she says, uh, "Bag lady." She she mm -hmm. talks about the bag lady. You gonna hurt your bag dragging all those bags. However, when you have a spiritual work bag. Mm -hmm. And you know what's in that bag. I don't care how heavy your physical bags get. When you have those uh, sp that spiritual work bag alongside of those physical bags, mm -hmm. let me tell you, while it may seem heavy, while it may seem hard, there is going to be a joy. Mm -hmm. That joy. I'm telling you that joy is going to hit you in the midst of yes. you carrying all those bags. Mm. So you're not hurting your back. So I am, I think we are coming down to our last few minutes. And you're um, going to know it's the joy of the Lord too, because there's no other reason for you to feel it. It comes from him. So Rose, let me ask you a question. Mm. Were you raised into like in a, a home where you went to church at a young age and mm. You, you had a belief while you were coming up? I did. Um, when we were younger, we went to, we were actually raised Catholic. So we went to Sunday school. Um, I was baptized Catholic, received my first communion. Um, and then I'm trying to remember when exactly we kind of stopped going, like slowed down and stopped going to church for several years through high school. And um, not going through my whole testimony, but yeah, I had the, the foundation and now I'm more of a, more of a Jesus follower than per se a Christian or, uh, I mean, I am a Christian, but um, sometimes I feel like when you say you're a Christian, <laughs> people look you, at you in a different way. Um, so I like to say I'm a follower of Jesus because I don't necessarily want to be associated with certain views of Christians. I want to be associated with Jesus. Mm. So are you still in the Catholic religion? No, I go to a non denominational non denominational church. <laughs> so in your in your time where you were not associated with the church at all, mm -hmm. did you still pray and and things like that, or did you have a moment where you kind of just disassociated from oh. the church? <laughs> I'm a prodigal, <laughs> so and there's a big gap in there <laughs> where no, there wasn't there wasn't a whole lot of faith going on unfortunately and it's it's not even unfortunately the reality is is that we go through tests and that's one of the things that i am very transparent about my life and you know i've shared in previous lives where mm -hmm. you know i was a youth 
minister. I mean, I was in it to win it. I lost my first child carrying him. And I mean, I didn't understand. And believe it or not, I, I mean, preaching the word of God. Um, so I do understand that, you know, sometimes there is a separation, which is why God has allowed um, this this platform to be birthed so that we can be transparent to let people know. Yes, listen, we are who we are now. Mm, However, true. our testimony is something that you would really appreciate who we are now <laughs> because our testimony speaks to our struggles. And, and another reason why we, we do these live broadcasts is to inspire other people. Don't become or allow yourself to keep encompassing the same mountain seven times, mm. seven times, 77. Just keep going around the same mountain because the reality is, is that a lot of our processes, we prolong and we, we draw out the time we're in certain situations because we hear God, mm. but we turn a deaf ear. Mm -hmm. And this is why it's important mm -hmm. to not forget your spiritual work bag because it's the spiritual work bag and the awareness that's going to keep you focused to say, even when I don't want to associate with the church because of mm. all of the stigma that's associated with Christians. And I was one once one of those Christians. Hello. Oh, so was I. <laughs> Going to church. Party on Saturday night. Yes. <laughs> but tradition told me I had to go to church Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. So hungover and all, I was sitting in church Sunday morning. But however, now that I have gotten into the knowledge and really understand the the scripture for what it is and not what tradition has said I'm supposed to do. Now I can say Shea Speaks is not just a cliche or our name, but Shea Speaks what she lives, not mm. what she heard, not what she speaks. I speak what I live. Mm -hmm. This thing is real in my life. So I share transparently with our viewers and our guests, I share transparently my story because I, I've learned that it's in that humiliation mm. that keeps me humble, right? Yes. Because in any split second, if I'm caught off guard and I don't have my work, my spiritual work back, <laughs> I can revert. I can go back. So it's important. Like, I, I mean... That's just me. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you how much harder those struggles probably were compared to now. Man. Not saying the struggles are any easier, but with God on my side and at least being able to give it to him, it's much easier. But that's always a process you had to work through, oh, you had to yeah. go through. And a lot of times, sometimes, you know, God will put us in situations where we can voluntarily submit to him mm -hmm. or involuntarily submit to him. Mm -hmm. He gonna get us one way or the other. And I'm gonna be Jonah. honest. I rather Jonah. absolutely. And what happened after Jonah was swallowed up, then what happened? So okay. What do I got what do he have to do to get your attention? Mm. My our inspiration tonight is don't forget your work bag. The scriptures say, work while it is day, for when night cometh, no man can work. And the reality is, there is going to come a night. Mm. I just don't want my work to be said undone when that night comes. So tonight, we're just inspiring you and letting you know to don't forget your work bag. Know that you are going to encounter people who do not receive you, who do not mm. like you, who could care less about you, who don't uh, agree with what you're saying. And that is okay. It's okay, especially when you know who you are and who you are. When you know you have been called to do a work, mm. when you know that God has literally pulled you out of, mm. right? Mm. Pull pulled you out of your own self, okay? Because as I've learned, our bishops say, Satan will use you to kill you. Ooh. That's the truth. He yes. will use you to kill you. Yes. He'll get in your mind and make mm. you believe that, listen, that water bottle was empty when it's not even open. Mm. And then you saying, you sitting back and you can literally reach out and grab the water bottle yes. to see however he creates this illusion in our mind to make us believe that that bottle is empty. Mm -hmm. The whole mm -hmm. time it's full. So Satan will use you to kill you. Don't be surprised. Understand that God has, he loves you enough. He 
thinks that much of you to test you. Listen, when God stopped testing me, Lord, we need to talk. Mm. We need to have a serious one on one. <laughs> when you stop testing me, I need to know what am I what am I missing? And and again, it's not always something that you've done. Um, so just wrapping it up, I'm gonna let we're gonna read some of these comments. Yes, I mm -hmm. believe when we turn our problems over to God, it is so much easier because that's where our strength is. Absolutely. Yes. Cuss and Ebony, thank you for tuning in. And yes, amen and amen. Thank you, Miss Jackson. <laughs> yes, there was no wrong in Jesus, but he took on sin, flesh for our sake. Yes, he did. She says, walk on Rose. Thank so you. listen, we appreciate Rose coming on. So Rose, before, <laughs> if you have any questions, comments, please drop them. Also, I want to ask you tonight, we want to know, what are you intentionally packing in your work bag? And the next time you leave or when you wake up, make sure you remind yourself, put a reminder on your bathroom mirror when you go mm. to brush your teeth, put the reminder there. Don't forget your spiritual work bag. You're going to need it. Mm. Trust me, you're going to need it. When you open up your eyes and your spirit, you need to be saying, I can't forget my spiritual work bag. Because the minute you open up your eyes, whether before you open up your eyes, your phone rings, listen, something awaits you. So you must have the tools in your spiritual work bag so that you can maneuver and represent him well. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I throw one more thing in? Yeah, I know you're trying to wrap it up, in. but this hit me when you were talking about being tested. So I was thinking about being tested like in school. Mm -hmm. Why do we get tested? To make sure we learn the lesson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you ever find, at least I'm, I have in my life, when I'm tested and I, you know, you fail, you get up, you try again. But when I finally pass that a, test. Oh, oh, I don't have <laughs> Can I tell you, hallelujah, the breakthrough that comes through. Lord, this could go for another hour, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say No, that's a good point. Tests are not, like we said, punishments. It's the trials are to make sure that we got the lesson, that we're good, and we can move forward and grow. So yes, um, absolutely. And I like that. Mm -hmm. Um, that's a good point. A lot of people don't see tests as what they are. And I'm just going to give you the definition of test. I, I mean, I spoke on this Saturday, but when I when I when the Lord gave me this topic and I looked up the definition, it literally gave me another perspective. So Google defines test as a procedure intended to establish quality, performance, or reliability of something before especially before it is taken into widespread use. Mm. God can't put you on platforms. Mm. He can't put you before a larger people mm. if you have not been tested. Yes. Everybody wants to walk into the promise. Everyone wants to <laughs> impact the world. We are influencers. Yes. We want to influence a mighty nation, but can you stand to be tested? Mm. Lord. A procedure intended to establish quality. Mm. I told them Saturday, listen, you go in the store, you have game, you have tide, and then you have armor hammer. <laughs> and then you got equate. Equate. <laughs> the reality is, is that I will pay more money for better quality. Mm -hmm. When I use gain, I know what my clothes are going to smell like. I know how clean they are. Mm -hmm. Equate, I'm not so sure. Mm -mm. And the reality is, is yes, sometimes you go in the store on a budget. But even on a budget, when it's good quality, you're going to pay that money. Mm -hmm. You're going to pay that money. So just know that tonight, when you are tested, when you have your work bag, mm -hmm. that <laughs> spiritual work bag, when the tests come, you will remind yourself that this is only a procedure to establish quality in me, to establish performance, great performance, and reliability. Can God trust you? How reliable are you? Can I depend on you? Especially before it's taken into widespread use. Ooh. So listen. That work bag, I need it. It's essential because the <laughs> tests are going to come. I am grateful that he trusts us enough to yes. test us. But because I know the test is going to come, I've got to be equipped. I need to know that I got to work 
while it's day. Because my day, your day, our day is not God's day. His seasons are not ours. Mm. It is only a test, Sister Share. You are absolutely right. So, um, yeah. less words of inspiration on this topic or anything. Just share with oh, us. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Just whew, whatever you're struggling with, whatever your trial is, whatever you're going through right now, just... Pack Give it to God. Hand. Yeah, it's it's an open book. It's an open prayer test. So you're even allowed to ask for help during the test. Woo! We're getting ready to go on another topic. <laughs> it is open prayers, y'all. You can ask him for the answers. You can oh. ask him for help. Do it. He's right there. That's my last word of wisdom, y'all. <laughs> and it's not me. I'm not. This is all coming. <laughs> This is not me. It's him. Now, y'all see why she's a special guest on this <laughs> Wow Inspire broadcast? Listen, did you hear what she said? Mm. This isn't a test that you got to study hard for. You just got to be willing to go through the test. Mm. Rose said, this is an open book test. <laughs> Google. <laughs> Hello, Google. <laughs> Can you tell me about faith? <laughs> All right, I'm in a test. So mm. he's giving you a book. Not one book, 66 books. In mm. one. Lord. In one, 66. So you get a 66 in one. You get excited for a two in one. How about 66 in <laughs> one? Whoa. That's my kind of deal right there. I said, <laughs> I'll take it. So listen, guys, know that you're going to go through the test. Prepare your work bag. Don't leave it home. When you listen, when you realize that you left it, you better treat that spiritual work back like it's your seller device. Mm. Go back Ooh. and get it. Y'all know y'all be late for work if you leave your <laughs> cell phone home. You better go back and get that spiritual work bag because you're going to need it. Mm. And know that God does not give you a test without giving you instructions. Yes. This is an open book test. Go ahead. <laughs> So yes, remember what is in your work bag. I'm trying, we're trying to keep quiet because we have neighbors, but, <laughs> but listen, cause y'all know I'm usually loud. <laughs> However. <laughs> I just want to say thank you all for tuning in with yes. us another Wednesday. Listen, tomorrow, when you go about your day, let people know I'm going to be, I'm all right. <laughs> now I'm going to be all right, but I'm okay. I am doing fine because I have my spiritual work bag. Mm. Listen, that is our inspiration tonight. So I hope you all have enjoyed this Wisdom Winning Wednesday message brought to you by yours truly, Shay Speaks, and our special guest, oh. Miss Rose Fish. <laughs> Y'all, I have tagged her profile in this. Please reach out to her. If you want some words of inspiration, Aww. when I tell you she holds me accountable, I hold her accountable. Yeah. Like, this is my sister, y'all. <laughs> she works in Columbia. I work on the Eastern Shore. Yeah. And when I tell you today, when we got together, it was like we never <laughs> dropped off where. No. So listen, the inspiration tonight is don't forget your work bag. Know that God loves you enough to trust you, mm. to test you. And because of it, listen, you got to continue to work while it is day. Because as the scriptures say in John 9 and 4, when night comes, no man can work. Listen, we are here. We show up every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. and every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. to simply inspire the influencer in you. God has called you to do amazing things. Listen, if you haven't shared this live out, share it out and let someone know. God trusts you enough to test you. But in the process of being tested, know two things. It's an open book test. So you have 66 books that you can refer to and if you listen if you are anything like me bishop then told us we have touch bible app mm. where you can go in there and type a word and you'll get all the scriptures you need so it's 66 books for you to use to pass the test don't drop out in the process take and make sure you don't forget your work back listen guys tune in with us on saturday morning we will have minister um Heaven Cobb, all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. She is going to be our special guest on Saturday. And when I tell you she is a fireball, she <laughs> is a fireball inspiring the youth. And I am super excited and thankful and praise God that she accepted the invitation to come share a word of inspiration 
with you all, with me as well, because I'm excited. Listen, I get excited mm -hmm. even when I am facilitating mm -hmm. alone. <laughs> but when I have a special guest, I'm like, ooh, dang, it's an open this book was test. A, yeah, and you can ask the instructor. You can ask the professor too. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> open book. Ask the ask the professor. Mm -hmm. Ask the instructor. Mm -hmm. But you have to be checking in with him. You have to prepare that work bag. So listen, guys, we are done for the night. <laughs> and again, we show up every Wednesday and every Saturday to inspire the influencer in you. God has called you to do amazing things. God bless you all. We love you to life. Have an amazing rest of your night.